Wouldn't it be great to be able to automate your movement of your grid on your APC Mini MK2? It's possible via a Max for Life device of mine here. You can see, let's stop all clips for now. So you can see that this grid is jumping depending on uh, which clip I'm playing here. So there is another way on how to automate this. So for example, you can actually set always the grid to move um, depending on which scene you are selecting and you can see it's changing on the APC Mini MK2. Um, third way would be playing clips. So if we have some playing clips in here so I can quickly play a clip. So if I start a scene or if I do some um, automated scene clip following here, you can see as well that this is automatically moving okay perfect so this is a max for life device max for life is included in ableton live suite or can be bought as an add-on towards ableton live standard without max for life you wouldn't be able to use this and this um, device here only works for the apc mini mk2 you can see the difference here that's an mk1 you got circled buttons here and you got squared buttons on here so the mk2 got square buttons and that's a really nice affordable um and not only but entry level midi controller here for ableton live it's quite affordable and it can do quite a lot as well actually if you're playing live you are uh, bind to press shift and then to move around so maybe if you have a huge set you want to automate this and let me show you how you can do this with my max for life device okay so uh you could set up automation here so let me make sure that i turned off the auto selection of the second device i'm just using two devices for showing purposes here obviously you just need one because you're just going to use one technique and you're going to decide what kind of technique you're going to use so we got um for example uh we can write envelopes into midi clips here so if we go to the envelope section of an empty midi clip let's set this up from the beginning so i create an empty midi clip here just double click on an empty clip slot uh turn off loop um, and then I select the grid mover and then I can select the track and it's we're talking about the uh, the top left corner here so let's say we want to go to track number four here maybe so i set a breakpoint i can go to the breakpoint here edit value and i can type in a four and i want to change the scene selection here as well maybe select scene nine here so i create a breakpoint i click on the red line here and right click edit value and i type in a nine i just said nine deny okay perfect so um i could label now this clip here if i if i want to command r or right click rename and then i can put in some text to remember what this thing is doing and um, don't delete it so to remember what it is doing okay so this way you know okay this is automating to this um, or that scene and track so if i now play this clip you can see the grid is moving to that place i defined so if i go back track one and track scene one um, i set this up in the other clip here this clip i just played this clip so if i trigger this clip again bam it's jumping there okay so this is the first technique of automating this via envelopes moving the grid box via envelopes so um, i can do that as well and let's open up the other track so i can do that as well via uh, selected scene here so for example if i now have the set to selected scene when i move um, my scene here um, it will always follow and you can see that on the law um, on the launch pad, on the <laughs> on the apc mini mk2 um that this is happening here and um, by the way i will release a device for the apc mini uh one as well soon have a have a look in the video description here i will set some links there um yes so this is if you want to go via selected scene 
Third technique, uh, which is off, uh, which is offered here, is the playing clip one. And for this, you obviously need a clip on that track where you got the grid mover APC Mini MK2 sitting. So if I create a clip here, maybe let's move this up here. So if I have playing clip selected, and if I play a clip here, you can see the grid is moving to that point. And that can become handy if you, for example, set up some um, clip follow actions, what I just did here. So this one is automatically triggering. This clip is triggering the next one. And at a certain point, if you want to move and if you want to change your select selection automatically, maybe because you have a lot of scenes for a particular song and you want to automate stuff when to trigger what, um, this could become handy. So one important thing, how to set it up. We got um, a window here on this device where we got um, six um, slots here. So if I hit refresh, we can see I only have uh, APC Mini MK2 in here. So this is representing what you got in your Ableton Live Preferences under Link Tempo MIDI. You can see this first window here or the window in the section in the middle. We got the control surfaces and those are MIDI remote scripts where the MIDI controllers are talking to Ableton Live and Ableton Live is talking back to them, telling them, okay, here is a clip and this clip is playing or you are recording in session view uh, in the clip slot or whatever. Okay, and obviously those control surfaces when you connect um, your MIDI controller and there is a MIDI remote script present, it will select this one automatically. So usually you don't do a lot in here, but if we, for example, select none here, and maybe select none for this slot. So just for showing purposes, if I now go back to the device, I hit refresh, we can see we got no um, remote script active at the moment. So if we go to this one, and maybe let's say we want this on the second slot, and now I need to look for the right uh, remote script here, APC Mini MK2. It's a control surface and I want to use my APC Mini MK2 control and my APC Mini MK, APC Mini MK2, APC Mini MK2 <laughs> control here. So we could actually set those to none. And now I need to refresh the device and you can see it's refreshing those things. I need to select the controller I want to address with this device. This device, again, is for the Mini MK2, not for the MK1. It wouldn't work. Okay, so um, this will work with Ableton Live and Ableton Live 11 and Ableton Live 12. In theory, it should work with Ableton Live 10, but I didn't found a MIDI remote script for the MK2. Two version because um, Ableton Live 10 is is um, older than the MK2 when it came out. So for the MK1, as I said, there will be a device soon as well. Um, I usually don't set a date on this. Just have a look in the video descriptions if you're looking for um, something for a different um, controller for um, moving that I will have uh, one for the push two and for the launch pad three uh, for the MK3 launch pad pro MK3 and it's it's not set to stone what I will release but things will develop so um, have a look in the video description here for this device for the MK2 or for other devices take care bye bye